Hello, my fellow survivors. Welcome back to Infection Free Zone. I do hope you're having a safe and quiet night. It is dark. It is April. It is the springtime in Michigan. And with that comes unexpected things bumping in the day and night because weather is very unpredictable i'm going to start this video off by answering a couple of questions that you guys have had and if you have any more feel free to drop them in the comments because uh i, I have some experience in this game but like i'm not an expert so there's some things i don't know but i'll do my best to answer as best as i can question number one relates to this tower and a part of this answer is a response to the question and part of this is just a reply to comments about the tower okay number one all the weapons that are in this tower okay obviously one is better than the other is better than the other okay there are tooltips on these things assume that i've read them oftentimes i have not but assume that i have <laughs> okay um bow and arrow obviously does not take any ammunition all right now, I don't know the exact ratio of how much weaker this is to pistols. Somebody has claimed that it's a third. Okay, that means it would take me three towers with these to equal the same strength as one tower with these. I choose one tower because it also takes a third of the people. But following up on that, uh, I don't want it anyway. We're tearing it down. I don't want this tower to exist. Because the tower is useless to me now, the wall is here, okay? And it was never really useful to me anyway. I only did it because the tutorial told me to, and I wanted it to shut up and move on to the next step. So that is why I built that tower in the first place anyway. Okay, uh, the time is running, by the way. We're not paused. It's just, uh, well, it just happens to be a quiet night. Cool. <laughs> Second thing, uh, a question relates to this, is, uh, is the brick wall actually the strongest wall? It is not there is one stronger wall you just don't have it available right away we can do things like fortified walls and we can do fortified gates let's just look at fortified walls we have fortified walls and fortified gates but they are locked you cannot use them the reason why i chose brick is because as i said earlier yeah most of your retrofits to buildings are going to cost you resources are uh, going to cost you the other two resources, not brick. They're going to cost you metal and wood. They're not going to cost you brick. And so using the brick wall allows me to use another resource that I'm not using already here. I could use metal fences. Absolutely. It just costs me the same metal that I'm using for these. I could do wooden gates and wooden palisades. They're the weakest thing. And now I'm robbing me of resources for my other things. I would rather take the time. It takes longer to build these, but they're more durable. And uh, I like to do that. Now... Can you upgrade the walls later? Well, if I want to tear them down and then build the fortified wall over it, then yeah, I could. It just, that would take way longer. What I plan to do is to have this be an interior wall. So this is going to be like the inner part of the city. And then we have, we're claiming these areas over here later, that kind of thing, as we grow and we have more people. And then we will have our fortified structures on the outside so we'll just have an exterior wall that will be the fortified wall that will mark permanently the out of uh the interior of our uh of our colony of our community okay right here right so hopefully that makes sense got a couple of two two other things to look at and then we'll get going one how do you grow you have 45 people the whole time okay so you started with 40 people and you are always going to get a group of survivors that are going to come in and want to join you. Usually it's around five. So five, you have 45. But after that, there's only two ways you're going to grow. Like, do people have babies, right? I, I don't know about that part because I haven't played long enough to know that part. But to grow, you need this tower. That's the easiest way to do it. And I've got one person uh, in, in charge of construction on that. The other thing you can do and actually, pause really quick. Um, I'm going to change something really quick on labor because uh, I absolutely want this building. And I absolutely want the barn. Um, these two things are a must. However, uh, I'm going to take people off of these really quick. Because I would rather, at this point, get more people on research um, to address this question. And also because I have something I need to do. So, 
here's a question on research and then I'll go back to the other thing. For the research center, if you build this, again, the bigger the building is, the more researchers you can have at once. The more researchers you have at once, the faster you can research things. It is not vital to have more than five or six researchers in your research center. I do not plan to ever put 20 people in here uh, unless there's like something really big down the line that takes that much time. I don't think there is. I, I haven't seen anything. That, this is not a remarkable tech tree, so I don't think it'll really matter that much. Um, but I chose this building because I never need another research center. I'll never need to, or I'll never want to. I'm not going to be limited to two or three researchers and go, man, I wish I had more. So that's why I chose this building for that. But um, if you don't give them anything to research, they will generate scientific materials in-house. You don't have to go out and scavenge them is where I'm getting at this. They'll generate them in-house. The more people you have assigned here, the faster you will generate them on your own. Unless you have five or more people, it's going to be generally faster for you to make a squad with four people and go out and find them in an educational building, like in the college and stuff. Because usually you can scavenge this all day and come back with maybe two. And so, yeah, like I have five in here right now, so I can generate, I'll be able to generate one point like every seven hours or something. So, you know, that that's faster. Um, but if I didn't want to commit this many people to just standing around doing that, I could also have that team getting resources and stuff out and about um, and have them armed and meet people and all that stuff. Our worker has no way. Our worker has no way. Well, there's no saving that person. Anyway, one of the things that I wanted to show you is that they will generate their own points. So I have four points right now. And in an hour, I will have five points. I need to assign more research here, though, because it's, uh, well, it's just needed. So <laughs> I need more research points. So I'm going to go. And now that I've got that, I can go over here. And I am going to uh, get far farming. So farming, I, I can already farm. But this improvement, what it does is it lets me have an increased yield, which is what I'm looking for, right? I need more of that stuff so that I can cook more of my own rations and not have to rely so much on canned food. And then I want to get to canning after that. But fertilization techniques may be actually a better fit before I go this way. I have enough points. The point is I have enough of these uh, scientific materials that I can afford to do it either way I want, any way I want. Four points for this one, four points for this one. Either or is fine. Uh, but I, I like to focus on survival before I focus on other things. Like guns are not survival in the early game. You do not need these in the early game late game you're going to want a lot more people shooting so make your own guns make your own ammunition you're going to start finding that houses and businesses and stuff yeah they got ammo but they're really far away and you're going to start using more and more of that stuff so as you play as you progress you want to become more and more self-reliant uh it's not super critical to do it right away okay so i don't need a breakdown of where all the stuff is and all the buildings i i, I know i got that thanks um i know it's pretty self it's, it's pretty easy to know that a police station would have guns and ammunition in it. Yep, I got that. Um, but as you play, you're going to become more and more self-reliant. And so it will matter a lot less where stuff is located because you'll be making it yourself. All right. As you go. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm looking at uh, chemistry here, for example, right? We're going to have to make our own fertilizers. That'll be great. We can make nitro nitrocellulose powder that's how we make our own firearm ammunition good there we go we make our own ammo with this yeah uh manufacture of synthetic fuels now we don't have to go to gas stations much anymore because we've got our own fuel supply right it's just about how many people can we feed and can those people work in those other buildings that's what i like about it okay anyway growth right this tower so we're building that right now and that's how we're that's the best way to grow the other way to grow is you just get a, a group together get your squad together get in your car and you just drive and you just drive around you drive all over the place don't go in any buildings just drive around and eventually you're going to see a group of people wandering around it's probably usually far away that group of people could be friendly or they could be bandits trying to take your stuff and try to kill you it's very likely you don't know until you approach if you're willing to approach so i recommend going with two vehicles with two squads uh i recommend if you're going to do that you know go with two squads and uh 
That way, if you meet some friendly people, tell them about the camp. They'll make their way over there by themselves. Uh, you know, they'll hide at night and all that stuff. And uh, if they are hostile, then you have eight people to shoot them. And they most likely do not have eight to shoot back at you. So that is that is how I would do that. Okay. So research-wise, we are done with that project. We now have an increased yield in our farms. That's good. What does that actually do for me? I have never had that before. Uh, it looks like it's four as a yield now for each of these i didn't i don't actually remember what it was last time i'm it's 2 a.m right now guys i'm trying to juggle five games and the only way to do that is to play all day and night <laughs> no, i'm just kidding it's not really slaving away i'm actually i'm only playing games maybe five four or five hours a day which i know sounds like a real pain in the ass for all of you guys you'd be like oh man you have to play for four or five hours video games really i know it's crazy it's ugh, terrible uh <laughs> But when you're juggling, you know, five games at a time, like an idiot, um, you tend to forget tiny little, the tiniest of details. You forget it in the, on the fly, right? Try playing a game sometime. I invite, I've, I've said this a couple of times already before. I invite anyone who wants to, to, no, well, they're howling at me again. Let's get, uh, you know, medical care could be good. I like medical care. Let's get medical care just in case it happens. I, I don't know when they're going to just go crazy with me here, but they're howling again. So we'll, we'll, we'll study that for a bit. And then we'll probably make a hospital. I don't think we'll need a very big one. So I'm kind of thinking maybe our medical facility will be this little building right here. I don't think we're going to need a big hospital. This building's done now, and we're going to take two wood and one metal and create one basic tool. And that's going to be so helpful to have that running. And, uh, oh yeah, that's going to be great. And we have, uh, enough to do two runs in storage already ready to go reserved for that building. Very good. Didn't get the barn done today. What a drag. So we'll have the barn done tomorrow with, uh, the chickens and stuff. Um, it's not super urgent. I don't think it's super urgent that we get medical care right, right away. So Operator. not going to not gonna get that right now um do i hear somebody chopping still i feel like i'm hearing people chopping wood still am i wrong there's definitely a like a chopping wood sound playing But it keeps moving. It's it's like it's coming from right in front of me. Oh, I think it's him. Yeah, there's a dude trapped right here. He is, uh, he is. He's trapped here. <laughs> um, sir? Sir? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to... Mm. Can you just, I don't know, are you actually trapped or like, am I going to have to tear this down? He may actually be trapped. I'm, I might have to move the tower. I liked it right up against this, but I just didn't think the, uh, the pathing on the builder would be so stupid as to wedge themselves in the back corner to build it. He is, that's a dude that's trapped. He's hammering on that thing. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will rebuild. We will rebuild that. Uh, it's right here, antenna. And I will put a little bit more space between this and the building. Just so if they do try to do that again, they can hopefully get out. All right, there. There's a little bit more room. There you go. This is, this is where I want it. All right. Now don't get yourself trapped in there again. All right, we'll let this run. Oh, well, hang on. Okay, they're on the wall already. They are just like immediately on that wall. Okay, uh, let's take uh, people off the scavenging task. People off that scavenging task. There's only five brick over there anyway. Uh, there is the walls over here, of course. We're going to take one off of there, one off of there. I just rebuilt the wall over on that side. Now they're going to tear that down again. Yeah, I think we can probably, we can probably counteract this a little bit. Um, let's make two squads. Have you guys get in the car, this car, 
and then we'll make another one to hold down the fort here. I'm going to see if I can't get these guys to just shoot at them, and maybe we can kill them right away. Uh, they are tearing that wall down, man. But this has... This has good range, so I should be able to shoot them from here. Did they start attacking a different wall? Oh, they did. Oh, what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> they did. Okay, let's, let's bring the car over here and see if we can't get distract them. Shoot him. All right. Hey, want to come after the car? Look at the pretty car. Yeah, bing. Come get the car. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Big car. Pretty car. Yes, yeah, pretty, pretty car. All right. This squad needs to head on back and just, just be right here and we can shoot at them from a distance. Wait, did the car just run into the... All right. Hold on. Where the hell did it go? It's my camera. All right, I think it just did the camera just rotate me somehow. What the hell happened? Just happened. Um, did can the car run into the wall, or did they just choose? I don't think this can't that can't be a thing, right? Yeah, the car would go around the wall. We're on the move. Let's do it. Well, it's questionable, but yeah, they're trying to get through the wall, but that's not gonna happen. They're done. Okay, good. And this is why you would put a tower right here. So I think. Uh, you know, our, instead of the wooden tower, which is not what I want to have permanently, I would put something like this here. And this is, it would be just enough to where it would cover the wall segment. So about like this, that would cover the wall segment entirely. And then eventually you just, you know, you just have towers like that all around where your wall is. But that will be the tower we ultimately, ultimately end up with right there. Uh... Okay, well, I mean, we're... we're one uh, yep, they're all the way over there. Let's distract them. You guys get back to HQ. Oh my god, they are... There's a swarm of them. All right, hang on. I got this group. But I need to distract the other group. And they are going to hide. Yep, they're going to disperse and hide now. All right, so now we have to clear these two buildings. We know that there are hordes inside these two buildings. So we, we know it's a bright, sunny day, too. So that's good. We're not having to deal with uh, bad bad daytime here in this condition. That'd be bad. All right, so we have this many people. I think maybe one more squad would be helpful in this situation. I'm going to bring this down to three people. We're going to make one more squad. I just keep hitting this instead of here it wants me every time you see that little like effect it's me accidentally hitting the quest which is telling me to come down into this building to build the thing i just need this to go and, and build and it'll be fine so yeah two people building that should be all right and they shouldn't get uh they shouldn't get stuck all right now one of these teams is unarmed but you're going in with three other armed teams i think that'll be fine uh once this tower is broken down completely we'll be able to get those guns back and stuff too which will be nice um so why don't i go ahead and let's take everybody off of scavenging that side yeah just take take off of scavenging really quick and uh break that tower down for me that's fine okay so let's bring these squads one two three four bring them all together and we'll go ahead and clear this building first I'm gonna have to enter from this side there's an awful lot of guys in here so we're gonna come in with overwhelming force and go get it get them and back out and then get a first attack again uh, sir, you won't believe what just happened. One infected just followed us outside into the sun. What's even worse, he seemed to know exactly what he was doing. It took him a moment to give up and return to the darkness. What the hell is going on? Kill it. <laughs> Better get back there and kill it. We did. We killed it. All right. Quick check on health for all the squads. If anybody's. Operator, this is big. Ready for action. We're on one of the houses. We killed two extremely fierce infected. Once they were down, we noticed that there was a child in there. A living, infected child. Must have been no older than three. 
It ran on all fours like an animal and jumped into the sewers before we could get it. For the love of God, if they can multiply. Uh, I don't even want to think what's going to happen. That is... I don't remember that one. Uh, we'll try to find it. Uh, ugh, let it go for now. Let it go. Ready for Poor kids suffered enough. Reporting. Yeah, I don't know if he's... Ready for action. I don't know if that's the right response, but all right. Uh, okay, so we actually have... Am I down? A... This squad is down a person. So did we lose somebody? It says we have 45 still, so I don't think we lost anybody. It's just Maybe this squad was always down a person. I just didn't notice. Possible. All right, get in there. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go. Bang, 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 bang. Port eliminated. Okay. Uh, and now we can start just going through and disbanding these guys so they can go back to work. And do the jobs that they need to do. Everybody disband. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, obviously the thing I'm really focused on right now is the tower to build and then building my own basic tools. We have now one basic tool. As we get to more and more basic tools, we will then make more and more fields, and I can then staff more people at the cookhouse. What do we have currently? Yeah, we ha we need more rations for sure. We we're running out of we're running out of rations. So let's get more people in the cookhouse. Get more people on the tower like that. Yep. And then as this breaks down, we'll get our guns back. And then I don't really need anybody to build the metal tower yet, but I will need somebody to come over and fix the wall we're going to do one segment at a time to fix this wall and it's basically you just rebuild it if you want to fix it if it's if there's something like really down like that that one probably wasn't as bad as this one but i actually don't remember which one i like what that had but i know that both segments were were uh you know damaged so we'll have that happen too and then uh yeah, we just keep keep on trucking, man. That's that's basically the that is the game. Uh, we got the chickens, right? So we'll have uh, five people working in here, and we're gonna create. Well, you're gonna use one of these, right? We're gonna use some of the crops that we're growing with the chicken, and it'll end up giving us some meat as well as. We're running out of resources. Uh huh. Thank you. As well as this, whatever that is. I, I don't know if that's a fertilizer, maybe. Yeah, fertilizer. But we have to research to be able to use it. And so that's where fertilization techniques will kick in. And we'll want to have the science from that. And so I would I would have, like, max out people in this to get the medic done. And then uh, make sure that we can... Uh... Stop working. Start oh, down. it's the end of the workday. Of course it is. All right make sure we have two squads Operator. ready to go here for this for a new night at least we cleared those guys out that was a lot came kind of like right at the end of the night but it was a lot and then we have to keep in mind that uh this this wall is no longer built so they can come through here uh it's partially constructed they, they can't come through there without damaging it though i think they actually do have to dwindle that all the way down so that was a really uneventful night because it was a moon night it was you know one of those bright nights so really not much to to show you there on the oh sh okay so this is where you can uh, get ambushed so we'll just get out for a second we have two teams this is why we hate this is why we use the buddy system and uh, we will go ahead and use said buddy system to take them down inside this restaurant. There we go. All right. Sir, we found something interesting near the lair that we just cleared. A CCTV camera, still operational, solar powered. Could someone still be watching this place? Ah, say hello. Say hello and wave. We could make new friends. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Say hello and wave. All right, cool. So we uh, just completed that objective. Now we just have to build uh, an antenna. Okay. Well, that's uh, going to be done today, I would think. 
Uh, I do have eight people, uh, obviously, out of the camp at the moment, but three people building this today. I would hope that that would get accomplished. Uh, we might be running out of metal, though. Uh, over here. Yeah, we have 46 metal. We're good. It's bricks that we're constantly running out of. Let's get uh, at least one on this stack. Maybe we can get rid of this stack today. Possibly. And then I would really like to get... Yeah, three hours, we'll have another tool. And then at that point, we can then drop down another field. So we'll have another field Job put done. in, I think probably right here would be good. And then I'll, I can put another one there at that point, And then another one there after the tree's gone. And then another one there. We'll have uh, eight fields right there next to the cookhouse. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's make sure that we get the wood from this area also taken down. And uh, we can even get done. wood gathering done from here as well. Just to open that up for us. Okay, you guys Operator. walking all the way back to camp from there. The kind of a derpy thing. Okay, I'm just saying you're a little derpy. Why don't you get back in the cars? Yeah. So we got some fuel from a fuel stop. And then uh, a lot more canned food. We were really hoping to get canned food today because I just, uh, I'm running out. I only have a day left. And I don't want to get in a situation where I have, uh, you know, dark, dark day tomorrow and not be able to get out here with these guys. So we're just going to take two people, keep, keep together, go shop around at the restaurants and grocery stores and stuff, get a bunch of canned food and bring it back to camp for today on those guys. Okay. The antenna is built. There we go. Incoming transmission. Chief, the antenna is now operational. Let's broadcast an invitation as a test. Or just call the squads back to HQ. Uh, you know what? I think we go okay. ahead. Let's start broadcasting. I think we can go ahead and call the invitation. So I'm gonna hit push to talk, and I'm gonna tell invitation for people to come on out here. To all survivors, this is an infection-free zone. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join Receive us. It. Operator. Yep. If you want, or we've told everybody where we are and now people can come out and raid us. Yeah. Walking dead style, baby. The dead, the infected aren't the only threat on the map. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to take a little bit of pause here with this. I'm going to see if I can't drive close enough to get this little stack right here. Can I get that? Oh, wow. Already, eh? All right. Cool. No problem. We'll uh, we'll deal with that. Um, let's take a couple off the kitchen, make a new squad. We'll be ready to go. Yep. This is the uh, assault rifle group here. So I would rather have the assault rifle group inside. Oh, that's the freaking dogs. Oh, shit. Go to the car. Go to the car. Go to the car. Go to the car. Go to the car, go to the car, go to the car. Oh my god, they almost died. <laughs> oh, I thought those were just regular infected. They're totally dogs. Oh man, they almost died. <laughs> this is why we need a medical center. Woo! That assault rifle just saved your life too. Like it bought you a little bit of time, man. Made them weaker. Oh my goodness. I was not, that, that was not a good, not a good uh, decision. I went to the car instead though, cause I thought it was closer. And uh, it also meant that I didn't have to manage the other squad. So I could focus on saving the one, get in, get in the HQ. Uh, you guys are going to be the ones. Uh, yeah, you guys will be the ones in the cars now. All right. And of course now they're going to try to empty it, which makes sense. There's a lot of resources in there. So if that's what they want to do, fine. But as soon as there's incoming, I'll just stop them from doing that. and. Oh, they decided to do it anyway. Oh. That's weird. So I told you to go to the car and you immediately... You immediately went to try to unload it, but then didn't try to continue unloading it. Hmm. Yeah. You'll unload it once. There. Yeah. Go back and do it again. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's more along the lines of what I expected you to do is do it on your own. All right. Now we are just in the car. And ready to respond to any hordes that are coming towards us. That is good to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to disband this. 
so they can uh, get themselves healed. They'll be civilians for a little while. It'll take a long while for them to heal until I get my own medical facility. So getting the medical facility up and running is now going to be a, an issue uh, that I want to uh, address. Hello, hello. Rise and shine. Um, hello? This is operator of infection free zone. State your business. Finally, I was beginning to wonder where you've gone. It's such a nice day outside. We need more resources. Got a good night's sleep. I think I'll go to that house by the end of the road today. It's time. Uh, I think you got the wrong line, dude. Sir, I think you've got me confused with someone else. Uh huh. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> you almost had me. You know, I really appreciate our little talks. What talks? And I... But we talked yesterday. And the day before. I know your voice. Stop kidding around, Gary. Yeah, Gary. Uh, I'm not Gary. I'm really sorry, sir, but I'm not Gary. But I... Then who... Who are you? Uh, well... Where are you? What's the address? All right, they're on Gaylord Street. That's really far away. Great. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, can you join our? I don't know if I want him to join our zone. We can send a squad to him. We're sending a squad to your location. You can trust us, sir. We'll help you. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. We're gonna go all the way to freaking Gaylord Street to go see this guy. Uh, it's 12 o'clock. We got time. Yeah, we got time. We got a full car. We got a squad full of pistols in her. Let's go. Another transmission. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Okay. Now, are they at the gate? Yeah, they're at the gate. So they heard, and they're unarmed, right? They heard the call, and they came in. Send them in. Very good. All right, so now we have more people. And that means more people to help, more labor, etc., to help us maintain. Now we have 1.5 rations of our own right here, it looks like, and 26 canned food. That's two days worth of food, but I, I really need that to keep going uh, even faster. We'll put two of you guys in the cookhouse, and uh, let's get two of you guys uh, working on this building to get that cleared. And then we'll keep uh, one squad. Uh, we don't need to keep the squad active. We can move that. Let's... Um, we only have one point right now. And uh, I think I want the tools faster. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that right there. The barn has five people in it. I probably would want to get another barn. I'm thinking about making this one another barn. But I want the tools faster. So we're at, we're, we still only have one tool. Or, you know, we, we don't have any tools now because I just made this field. Okay. Uh, let's look over here. Hi, Reporting. Mr... Who wants to see Gary? We're at the very edge of the map over here. Gaylor Street. Let's go inside. See what this guy's all about. Yeah? Boss, we found the guy, but he's a bit weird. Are you sure we There's want him? Left. Our citizens might get a bit concerned. I think we could probably leave him. He's fine. He he's... I think we'll leave him here, but if we do that, maybe he'll be upset at us. He might get upset at us and join someone else or whatever. He might be a smart guy for all we know. I mean, he, he did contact us. He looks like he could have like... He looks crazy though. Look at the writing on the wall though. But maybe he was driven crazy by the lack of someone to talk to, right? It could be that as well, right? I'm going to accept him. I got to know. Take him. Every life matters. Every life matters. Even even this guy's. <laughs> All right. So he's a neutral group. He's on his way back now. It's, it's going to be nighttime. So he is going to take shelter in a building at some point. We're going to we're gonna escort him until he decides to take shelter. We're going to keep... We'll stay right here with him until he takes shelter himself. And then... Uh, whenever that's going to be. He's going to be here. He's going to be now. There, he's in that building. Okay, so now that he's in that building, and it's a safe, it's a safe building, we're gonna have this car come on back, and let's make sure we got a squad 
Uh, let's make sure we got a squad with a, a, a full squad. Make sure we have a full squad. Uh, we'll take all the people off of research. Take two here. Take two here. And squad one and squad two with the injured people. So we want to keep them in the building and we'll... If we have to do any type of uh, maneuvers outside, it'll be this group here anyway that does it with the car. No infected out this way, though. That's cool. Didn't run into anyone on the way in. That's great news. Maybe we can just kind of head. Yeah, there they are. We see them. We see them. We know where they are. Are they going to keep coming? Uh, looks like it. Yes, they're definitely going to see our building. So let's see if we can't draw them. Hi. Yep, yeah, we're over here. Yep. Hi. Come to us. We need to get that wall set up for this building too because these buildings are very vulnerable right now and I have to do stuff like this to draw their attention so they don't take down our structures. I can't defend these buildings from inside HQ. Take them down. There we go. All right, they're one down. So I just have to keep moving. Um, I really need to make like a bigger effort to get brick. Brick is something that's kind of eluding me right now. We're going to have to start tearing down more buildings, putting more labor into, into stuff like that. And I probably should search these buildings here too. Uh, did I get rid of the trees on the outside yet? Yeah, it looks like it. I wanted to put a gate right here. So Going we'll have there. to, I'll look into that too. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll zoom out to about this far just to kind of see what's going on. We see any, uh, any dorks wandering around. We'll drive around and distract them. Okay. If anyone attacks us now, there won't be enough time for them to destroy anything. So I'm going to go ahead and leave like this. Uh, I'm going to disband this group. We're going to disband this group. And I think we'll do a full disband today um, so that we can focus on tearing down some buildings and stuff for the sake of getting brick. I would like this building to go. And I would like this. I would like this building to go too. Operator, do you see these clouds? I've never seen such a big storm. The sky is so dark, the infected might be able to walk in the cloud's shadow during the day. That... We need to be vigilant. Yep, this is the... This is that storm one. So, uh, we want to not have that many people doing this. And I want to have people not scavenging far away. So, doing things far away... Like, this is kind of... I would, I would say this is pretty far away. We want to have people not doing things far away. So, you can work close. Uh, Close-up work is fine but not far away. And I want to rebuild that wall. What's the chances that they attack that specific segment again, right? I already had to rebuild the corner, but yeah, I don't want them out here. So we're not doing any scavenging there. Uh, we're not going to do any scavenging out here. We're, we're just, we're doing disassembly work really close by. I think this is probably too far. We're going to, we're going to say we're not doing this right now. Um, I, mean, I can put up, I can put a squad there though. I can put a squad over there. So let's have one squad. Yep, we'll make sure you're in cars so we can really respond and move quickly. We'll put uh, the assault rifle in the faster car. But you guys, uh, you guys are full and healed, so we'll put you on foot over here to guard this. And then we'll have you over here in that car. So it's three, three squads to guard the workers, but we'll have the worker all being done you know, fairly close by. I think that's a good compromise here because the undead, the infected can walk at night right now. And that means they can come on out and they can, they can take us on, uh, anytime. And that, that endangers our civilians. So I don't want them like way out here scavenging, if that makes sense. And then we'll just kind of, Receiving. let's put way. this car over there. Oh my gosh. That was, Pretty awesome lightning strike. It sounded really good too in my in my headphones. Receiving. Holy shit! We're on the move. That was Everything nice. I don't know if I can make that louder for you guys in the video later, but um, 
in my i have really good headphones but again my headphones that sounded great uh all right there's the weird guy he's making his way he survived all the way through it during the day during the stormy day how about that the guy's a survivor come on in and join us buddy it's probably gonna annoy the entire camp so you can see that people are dissatisfied okay four new citizens arrived this helps people's health but citizens are living in too poor of conditions at the moment okay so we have to improve that by getting houses or by giving them higher quality food i guess maybe that'll help i honestly don't know um and then a negative 21 percent because a weird person was accepted to the zone the weird person is making everyone mad at me for two days worker efficiency is down 20 percent as a result of the weird guy being in the zone i guess Reporting. let's take Reporting. have you guys patrol over here so we're just spreading people out making sure that we can respond quickly to any type of threat Operator. around the, the wall will protect us on this side but we're going to be able to respond to threats that come on from this side I, I don't like how the lightning is very concentrated and striking like on my tile like in front of me surely the lightning has other places it could strike right not just in my very narrow field of view <laughs> apparently like maybe it's just scripted for that like lightning strikes randomly wherever the player is looking <laughs> maybe that's how that works i don't know uh we have 9.5 rations now plus 26 canned food that feels great we are almost feeding everybody on our own rations now very cool and we should have meat yep we have eight meat to process as well so getting another cookhouse would be a good idea now so that we can process meat in that cookhouse uh we don't need it to be quite so big um i'm thinking probably every time i do it small i end up regretting it you know every time we're gonna do it we're gonna make this building it all right yeah that's that's fine we're out of wood well we got one guy cutting it down over here we got more wood coming from this building this building tear down it's gonna be fine and normally i'd have an extra you know 12 people working right now but since i have to guard the camp i'm making sure that i got the guns at the ready just kind of zoning out here all right all the day is done so we don't need to guard the camp quite so closely now let's bring these guys back get uh, actually you guys go into the car the assault rifle go back to hq yep i'm just gonna park this car right here and get you guys into hq all right and we are in our battle position our typical battle position now uh, in case you're wondering we have two uh, spare fuel too i did stop at a gas station uh two days ago i kind of around the middle of the video or so uh, i stopped at the gas station so i was able to get a bunch of units of fuel and that's going to keep the you know the vehicles topped up for the most part not this one but they can put fuel in it whenever they want okay so now we're just waiting I'm, I'm keeping the car here because again these buildings are impossible for me to defend from hq and this side i got some warning with the wall so, so I'm kind of keeping the car here just so I can see this part here. And we're running out of resources. Running out of grain is fine as long as it's all been processed into rations. We have four rations left. Yeah, we gotta start processing the meat. I could switch this to meat mode. I probably could. Yeah, let's just switch this to meat mode for once this process is complete, it will it will transition. So you don't waste food. Uh, there's uh, two hours left in the processing of this so once that's completed it will then switch that's what the little timer means and we are poured right there let's get okay apparently i miss i i unclicked the car and i didn't mean to don't you leave my building alone assholes damn it i have to rebuild that now lame i mean i wasn't it wasn't built very far <laughs> it had so little work done to it 
that they were able to destroy it all the work we had done that quickly shoot 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 okay hold on reassessing we'll just sit in the middle for a second i guess i really thought i could respond to that side faster but i i unclicked the car and it allowed them to move like an extra 100 feet in front of them before i could respond so that wasn't very good all right i want to go out and get some more canned food today just in case uh we are good we have two days worth of food but i'm gonna go ahead and do that let's disband this group and we can let's let's take a group we'll take two out to scavenge things that's probably good uh if we sit here near the hq in in range you can see that we are refueling so that's in case you're wondering how that fuel works uh you have a warehouse or a building that has fuel in it that's how that works also i think a warehouse would be a good idea for me to build too wouldn't it let's repair that really quick and get that going again and i think probably we should get another warehouse we're not we have a lot of resource capacity actually yeah this this hq is actually quite large there's a lot of capacity here do we have enough living quarters for everybody now they're dissatisfied but mm. oh should i research that uh construction advanced uh woodworks i probably should tell you what researchers we'll put two people in here so we can get some more scientific stuff Receiving. and then uh these cars Reporting. i think what i want you guys to do is head down into these i want to want to head into these buildings here i think see we can so what we can get from these things we could search these two but I, I think these bigger buildings are a better target for me right now just to see what they're in what's in there uh we'll start with this one it's fine it. and then this one here oh hang on this is chief operator of the six zone we're under attack waiting we're orders we're under attack we're on the move uh we can hear you this is infection free zone chief operator we copy you waiting orders go ahead there. and we cannot hold them off much longer ready for this action going the there that we come help Ready for oh yeah we're gonna can you hear me we're gonna have to save them yeah i know sir sir leave that now to our people and that tell me where you are forever. dummy <laughs> can hear us. Please. We oh need you. right 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 he can't hear he can't uh he can't hear listen All right, we'll switch channel. We got to figure out where they are and go save them. Receiving. Can we see them? Can we see where they are? Yeah, right here. Tell me where they are. Sir, the signal is very weak, but it must be originating from some nearby location. If we search the nearby areas, ah, the signal this thing. Go that way. Go that way. We're on the move. Yep. Okay. Now we found the thing. Go this way. And go this way. Let's see. Let's so if this is strong but not quite it, then I'll know that that one's not it. And if this is strong but not quite it, then I'll know that that one's not it. So let's see what they say about this. I want them to arrive at different times. Otherwise, I won't know which one they're talking about. All right. Now, incoming transmission. Signal is weaker over here. We'll have to search elsewhere. Okay, so it's that, We're on let's get press on. Acknowledge. Receiving. On my way. Go that way. Sir, the signal is slightly stronger over here. If we search the nearby buildings, we might find the source of the transmission. Okay. Understood. Watch yourself. Operator. On my way. Let's have this building searched right now. 
This one right here. Sir, we found where the transmission came from. This must have been one of the safe zones. It seems it fell years ago, but the equipment somehow survived and kept transmitting. It's powered by solar panels Moving that were done. occasionally catching some the light. Place is adapted. Maybe we could try Operator. to use solar energy too. Going there. Yes, we could. All right. Let's try. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I can now get a med bay, which is nice. So let's get a med bay and put that one work. I don't know if one worker is good enough for the med bay thing, but like, again, I might regret doing that. Uh, I'm going to go with two. Maybe this one could be the med bay, but I was going to tear that building down because I wanted the gate to be here. Maybe I'll put the gate here instead. I already have a tower here. I could have it. I could cover the gate better with the gate being over on this side, I guess. All right, we'll make this the med bay. I know we're out of resources. I get it. Um, I don't know how to do the whole solar power thing. Cause is that, is that new research? Mass weather center. Is it, is it new research? I don't recall seeing that in any of the stuff. Shotgun, sniper rifle. Yeah, I don't know how we would use the solar power ourselves, but okay. Maybe it's a coming soon feature. All right, play. We'll search that building. building clear. And then the building is clear, but we have weapons. So we're going to get two. Uh, two? Yeah, two additional pistols and some ammunition from that. Now over here, we got a spare car. Or I got another car, right? So we're going to split this squad. Get one dude outside the car. These guys will go off and do something. You're going to take this car. We'll go ahead and search that building, I guess. Might as well. It's a slightly weaker squad than usual, but we'll go ahead and do it. Got a lot of weapons in this car. Oh, man. This car is loaded. Whoever had that, that transmission, they had a lot of weapons on them. All right, you two are going to head back to camp and drop off the supplies. Yep, that's where you two are going. And then these guys are just going to get back to their car and go back to camp as well. He's only one dude. Oh, sorry. that's These are three guys. Yep. And we're going to send you guys back to camp as well. There we go. All righty. So what do we get done in this video today, right? Uh, well... The barn's done, so we've been getting meat. We've been we've begun processing that meat, right, into rations. So we've got that. There's five rations. We also have five additional uh, bags of grain now because we didn't process them before. We have two cookhouses now. And so we are able to process both at the same time. I'm going to switch these, though, because I want the one with more workers processing the one that has more potential for, for food. So we're going to do that, have them switch places with, uh, their workload. We have tools that have been set up and we've been creating them. So we have, we have two additional tools now, which means we can now afford to have a yet another field. If we want to, I cannot stress enough how difficult it is to keep up with food. If you don't constantly lay down new sources of food, uh, because people will constantly come into your camp wanting to join and you have to feed them. Uh, but it becomes easier and, and faster to, you know, break down buildings and build new things because you get so many more people. Um, I think I'm going to, at the, since we're at the end of this video, I'm going to take the wall, the brick wall, and uh, I am going to, apparently this is the end of it, which looks really dumb. The end of it is apparently there. That sucks. I'm going to have to tear that down then. Oh man, really? It's going to look bad. I mean, it's it's going to function. It'll still be the corner of the wall, but it'll be there like this. That'll apparently be a closed wall because that's where it's snapping. I thought I could just go from here, but that's not going to matter. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to tear this down and then have it come off of that corner so that it doesn't look stupid. Um, but we can go like this brick wall. We can start it right here because, uh, at least give us a bit more protection on this side for now. So we'll start it. Let's say here, 
and have it come all the way over to about here. Yeah. And then from here, it'll go, uh, well, through that tree. We'll just have it be built from here for now. So this will be open. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Uh, I'll tear this part down, which is here somewhere. There it is. Yep. The invisible button. We'll tear that down. Whoops. We'll get the seven bricks back and then we'll have to kind of angle it from here to here instead. It won't be like a square, but it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, and then that's going to help us with even more protection. And then we just have the front facing part right over here. Uh, and then again, as we get closer to, you know, getting bigger and bigger hordes, we'll put a gate. I think we'll put the gate in like right here. I'll probably tear this. I think this building will probably go. Yeah, this building can go. It's kind of in the way. So we'll put the gate right here. That way we can drive out of it. Uh, I do wish there was a way for us to make our own roads Roger. instead of just using these roads. Uh, even if it was just a dirt path, something that we could uh, drive faster on, I think would be a really nice way to, to do that. I, I'd like to, for example, have the path be right here just so I could have the car go up and down and uh, through here and exit and then through here and exit. Going there. Yeah. It's fine. So we did a whole bunch of stuff. We met some people and we got even more people to meet. Some really interesting characters to meet. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, sharing that with you guys uh, as we as we play more. So I'm going to survive this night and then I'll pick up in the next video right on the next morning. It's October. It's about to be winter. So, you know, we've been stockpiling the food. Canned food's up to 20. I'm, I'm trying to... As best as I can, I'm trying to eat our own rations during the spring, summer, and fall. And then all the canned food that we've collected throughout the year will get spent during the winter, right? That's the idea. All right. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye.